Hello everyone, my name is Xavier Rafael and I'm going to present our work entitled Pulmonary Nodule Malignancy Classification Using Temporal Evolution with Two Stream 3D Convolutional Neural Networks. Lung nodule malignancy assessment is a complex, time consuming, and error prone process due to radiologists require to visually screen through the large number of axial slices that compose a CT study to detect and quantify potential nodules. Then, they go to previous CT studies and repeat the same process to obtain a comparative evolution of the nodules to determine its malignancy. Currently, accurate predictive classification models have been reported, but they are built on data from single time point nodules and labels obtained from the visual and subjective judgments of different experts. Despite the high performance of these models, its reliability is compromised, especially for early lung cancer assessment, due to the diagnosis of the training data is not confirmed, the complexity of the selected nodules is unknown, and the evolution of the nodules is not taken into account. Therefore, there is a need to provide more reliable classifiers based on cases where the nodules are followed up by more than one CT study in order to capture the nodule evolution to predict its malignancy, as practitioners do in their daily work. Suppose we present a two-stream 3D convolutional neural network which reads two 3D volumes centered in the nodule from two different CT studies of the same patient. These volumes are preprocessed and normalized in order to be entered into the network. The network is based on two different parts, a feature extraction and a classification component. The feature extraction is composed of two copies of a 3D ResNet 34, pre-trained from the Luna 16 open dataset, which is composed of more than 750,000 leveled nodules candidates. From these two networks, Pairs of feature maps from different depth levels of the nets are generated and sent to the classification part. The classification component preprocess these feature maps by flattening and concatenating them to finally pass them to a fully connected block which outputs the final lung cancer prediction. To train this model, we collected a dataset composed of 161 patients each of them with a pair of CTs taken at two different time points. 103 of, of these pairs were confirmed cases, cancer cases, and 58 of them were bending cases with stability or no growth during two consecutive years. Each pair of, of CTs have annotated a single nodule with a diameter greater than 5 mm. The time between the studies was between one month and six years. Two different radiologists annotated the location and size of the nodules. The whole data was randomly stratified into a train and test sets, following a 70-30% of the whole data. We performed the training and hyperparameter hyper tuning with a tenfold cross validation. Here, we present the results of a comparative analysis between the proposed classifier, which, which takes into account the nodule evolution, and a classifier trained on nodules taken at time point 1, and another classifier trained with nodules taken at time point 2. In the table, we can see how our approach reached an F1 score of 77% in test set, outperforming the other two models. On the left bottom side of the slide, we show a rock curve with the performance of the three classification models. On the right side, we can see another rock curve in which we provide the results of our method but using the, the different feature maps of the network. To conclude, we have presented a predictive model trained on a longitudinal cohort with more than 160 clinically validated cases. We obtained that our method improved between 12% and 9% the performance of other 3D networks using single nodule images. Thank you very much for your attention.